So I'm in my office the other day and uh, my wife says to me, hey, I found something. Uh, I thought you might like to take a look at it. And I thought, yeah, I definitely want to take a look at this. Let's see what's inside. Well, obviously it's a uh, photo CD, but curious as to what photos are inside of it. I never wrote anything down on it, so um, being one of the few people who still has a CD drive, uh, let's pop it in and take a look at it. So you, you probably can tell from the CD that this is uh, was done at Target, and uh, you can also see the date on it, 2009. And apparently a piece of hair, but I, I think that's pet hair. Okay, so this is the Kodak CD viewer, and uh, you can see Target's little symbol in the lower right corner. I can tell right away that this was taken with an Agfa Optima Parrot. So there's uh, the point. There's the re This is all in Pittsburgh. Oh, there's my home. There's the U.S. Steel Building. There's the sky. There's the U.S. Steel Building again. Uh, there's some trees, <laughs> and there's more sky. Here is uh, PPG Plaza. One of the stories about PPG Plaza is when you're there, you can take uh, as many photos you want, as you want, but you cannot turn the camera upward to take a picture of the buildings. It's really weird. It's some corporate uh, weird thing, so I just go across the street and take it from a public, public street. They have no control over that. This is near the courthouse, I believe. Old building. Yeah, there's the uh, state flag. Pennsylvania and these are just some street scenes so you can see that I took some of these uh, horizontally and some vertically uh, this is Gateway Center and these are some trees uh, right at the base of the Fort Pitt Bridge uh, the Fort Pitt Bridge that's the one where um, they'll often use in different shots as you go through the tunnels and you emerge from the tunnels you'll see the city in front of you and so that's the Fort Pitt Bridge along Fort Duquesne Boulevard. Um, wow, some of these, I did not refocus the lens. That's pretty obvious. That's Mount Washington. Out of focus. <laughs> and this is a uh, an old uh, cemetery that they have downtown. Very old. Uh, Wiener, World, Wiener World, I believe that just closed. And these are just some various street scenes. I should uh, actually take a closer look at this. This is over near, near Gateway Center again. This is a uh, small restaurant. So when you focus this camera correctly, it's actually pretty good. I obviously wasn't paying attention. Oh, there's my dog down on the bottom. And up top. That was taken from underneath an umbrella. That appar apparently is Barker's Place. Yeah, I don't know what was going on, why I wasn't focusing the lens. I usually do before each shot. Oh, the one on the, on the right is the Heinz History Center. Uh, this was obviously taken in the fall, because you can tell by all the fall foliage. There's Station Square. And the more uh, flowers and such downtown. Man, learn to focus. There's a bunch of leaves that had fallen. Either I wasn't focusing or I wasn't paying attention or uh, I misjudged focus, but some of these I clearly uh, was way, way off. Okay, uh, this is the William Penn Hotel. The shot on the bottom. Sort of a cool building. Uh, and to the left is the U.S. Steel Building. I could do a little bit of work there. <laughs> uh, that is Pittsburgh on a cloudy day. And that's the point. Um, you can tell it's approaching Christmas when I took this shot because of the... Um, let's go back. So you can tell it's approaching Pittsburgh when I took this shot because of the uh, little pointy thing... That's where the three the uh, three rivers converge. Actually, they don't really converge. What happens is 
uh, you have the Allegheny River on the left, you have the Monongahela River on the right, and they converge to form the Ohio River. And so at the point, uh, it looks like they're putting up a small Christmas tree display. Okay, yeah, this is somewhere downtown Pittsburgh. Sort of cool, actually. Uh, the leaves, they are in pretty nice focus here. This camera is fitted with the Solonar lens, which is a Tessar type. And they're the, uh, the leaves filling up my gutters. You're going to zoom in? Yes. Well, so we'll take a look at this. This is um, PPG Plaza or Market Square, depending on where you're sitting. No, actually, that's not, that's, that's Market Square. That's not PPG Plaza. And uh, just, I guess, going through this uh, CD. Oh, here we are. So this is the base of the U.S. Steel Building. Um, I think UPMC, United University of Pittsburgh Medical Center, was renting it or paid the naming rights for it. Crazy. Yeah, and so this was um, Gateway Plaza. KDK TV, I believe, is in that building. And here we are with the cemetery. So this fellow died in 1813 or 1818. Anyway, this is, like I said, a very old cemetery uh, downtown. And here are a whole bunch of uh, pigeons. Like many cities, far too many pigeons. Here we are at the bus stop. Oh, this is up near the U.S. Steel Building again, I can tell. And these are just scenes from around town. So what I was trying to do with this photo on the bottom, I thought I'd uh, take an interesting photo of the, um, of, the, of the city out of focus with my umbrella in it. I don't know if I succeeded. Sometimes you take photos, and sometimes they work, and sometimes they don't. Hines History Center was named after Senator John Hines, and he was the one who was uh, killed in a, um, was it a helicopter crash or a plane crash? One of the two. But he was heir to the uh, Hines fortune, of course. Oh, these trees are in my front yard because there's my there's that basketball hoop. That decrepit basketball hoop. I think I finally got rid of it. So one of the interesting things you can always do is take a photo, either um, put, place yourself against the wall and take a photo and see what Part is in focus. Yeah, I badly miss focus on a lot of these shots. Uh, here, this is the walkway that's down by the river. This is on the Allegheny side. Oh wait, let's go back again. Is that? Yeah, yeah, that's on the uh, Allegheny side. Where is that? You know, sometimes I forget. Anyway, there's the photo CD uh, of photos that I took back in 2009 of the, oh, of just walking around Pittsburgh and such. And those were taken with my Agfa Optima Parrot, a half-frame camera from the 1960s. I think I was shooting on, um, I'm trying to figure out, I was looking at the film. I don't think that was Kodak Gold 200. My guess it was probably that Fuji 
Fujifilm 400. No, it wouldn't have been. It would have been a Kodak Gold 200 because I believe the I believe the uh, ASA range of that camera tops out at 200, so it would have been a 200-speed film. Anyway, if you ever come across uh, some of your own photos, I hope you have fun going through them, and uh, hopefully, hopefully you'll remember which camera you used. Of course, if you only own one camera, it makes it much simpler. So if you like this, uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And if you'd like to drop me a note, you could do so at contact at camera-talk.net. This was a quickie, and see you on the next video.